Oh, okay. I see Barbara and Joe and Pastor are on. Hmm. I don't have any volume, Pastor. You're, you're on mute. Right. How about now? That's better. <laughs> they were asking me if this is live or is this recorded? I thought it was recorded. It's a live recorded. Live recorded. Live recording, Barbara. In other words, we're live. We're live, but the thing on is YouTube. What's that? No, it'll be Are you live on YouTube. Uh, did you check YouTube? No, not yet. But it'll be live here. Yeah, we're I live. On it, like I can, I do it on my Zoom, and then I hook it to YouTube, and I can get it on my screen on TV. Yeah, we're live on YouTube. It says. Okay. What um, I did, today, um, I don't know if you ran into this yet, D, but today I um, tried to get on for the teen ministry session, and it wouldn't let me go on because I have, you know, today is the day when they are upgrading all the Zoom software for everybody. So they tell you that you have to upgrade your Zoom software. But I didn't know how to do that. And every time I tried to do it, I wasn't able to do it. So finally, I kind of did some behind the scenes questioning there and, uh, <clears throat> and it, indicated at one point if you if you uh, <clears throat> uninstall uh, zoom and then you go back and you you go to the uh, you go and you install it all over again but then the new version is the right one oh okay so if you run into something like that when you try to go into zoom where it tells you that you have to talk with your IT administrator gotcha yeah delete, in other words delete the app and start from scratch well, it just if you know if you run into a message like that, that's how you deal with it. You just you just go and uh, <clears throat> and you uh, you know you you go to uninstall. Uninstall, okay. Yeah, and and you know you delete that program, and then you go back into uh, Zoom and reprogram uh, it. Then you go to Zoom.us, and then you uh, you know put it back in. Okay. That didn't happen yet. It may not happen in yours, you know. Right. Right. I did create a, an account for me only so I could get a backdrop. Yeah. But um, I don't know if I'll ever use it for anything else. Yeah. By the way, when I uninstalled um, Zoom, I lost my background. Oh. I had just the ones that they provide. So then I, I just put them back in. That's where this oh, okay, gotcha. came from. I put that in there. So, we've been watching the chickadees all day. You have, have a little birdhouse. Did you see the uh, picture? Oh, oh yes, I saw you had, a, you had a visitor this morning. Yeah. 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 Well, these chickadees, you know, a few days ago, we were sitting outside and I saw this little bird fly into that little birdhouse. And the hole is only about this big, you know, it's not that big, you know. Right. And there are a bunch of holes. But anyway, that's what happened. So, um, so we we're watching and, and it uh, turns out that there are actually two. The birds They're, in it? They work together. Oh. And, you know, they bring stuff with them uh, in their beak and they feed it to whatever. I don't know if they have babies in there or whatever. They must have babies in there then. They might, yeah. I'm hmm. not going to go, you know, look at it. choice. Hi. <laughs> Thanks, see, I just wasn't sure which way to. Yeah, you can do it either way, apparently. You can go on Zoom or you can go on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> Barbara, I got myself a backdrop. I see it. You see that? Yes. That's very nice. <laughs> you
You must want to travel. I do. I know. But I can't come to Florida because it's a 14 day quarantine. Yeah, no. Yeah. And I can't go upstate because my children are afraid. So, <laughs> hi, Donna. She's still connecting the audio. Yeah. There it is. Hi, Donna. Hello. So, Vicar Eric, how are you this afternoon? Good. Good. How about you? Uh, fine. Yeah, I uh, been busy. <laughs> I got my sermon done for tomorrow. I hope so. <laughs> I went over my daughter's and had a backyard gathering. This time we ordered out. Uh, mm. Yeah. But but no hugs. Oh, the fun thing that I did was I. I, I, I looked up uh, chickadees on uh, Google and uh, went got some stuff about chickadees and in the little corner of the, uh, the article, they had a thing to, uh, for sounds. So I clicked on that and there's a whole bunch of recorded chickadee, uh, you know, calls and uh, songs. Nice. So as I sat there at the table outside, only about four feet away from the from the birds, uh, bird feeder, uh, bird's nest, I um, I started playing some of those. And that's when the bird actually came and sat over by me. Oh, because it was attracted to the noise. Yeah, the bird. Very, very bird, cool, yep. Yeah, it's, yeah. Bird heard, bird heard, how's that, Mark? Uh, the other, you know, the sounds. Sounds from the other birds. Yeah. yeah you tricked them. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. Sounds like it's for the birds to me. Yeah, well. Yep. It's about a Joyce. <laughs> Barbara, you're here twice. Is that yep. the earth or the moon? Behind Barbara, you. Barbara, you're sitting on the I think couch. it's the I think it's the earth. Yes. But I just put it up because it was a dark background. Oh yeah. I yeah, I was, could see. Oh yeah. That's but I could you see. also have your a picture of you and Joe and the new babe, the new dog. The new dog, yeah. Because I'm on you I'm on my phone on YouTube because I can't get it on the I can't I don't know why I can't do it on the computer. Oh. Because <clears throat> you've got two pictures. But you up. have your you're in two places. Yeah. I know. Well, Vicar Eric, do you want to take over? You want to take over the helm here? Sure. Let me let me share. Yeah, let me just. Uh, um, we'll we'll wait a couple of minutes because it's still two minutes to seven. Yeah, but I yep. would, you know, I'll put you at the helm and then you can take it from there. Okay. And Donnie, your hair looks good. Oh gosh, I'm looking how bad it is. <laughs> We've been working all day on my room. You're blonde. I think I should just cut it right here. Oh, there's Sheila. Hi, Sheila. Hi, everybody. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. I'm glad to be here. Mom's here with me. Oh, Hi, Eric, Paula. Now, right? Hi. Eric? Hmm? You're in charge now, right? Let's see. You have the you have the power. How's she feeling, yeah, Sheila? I know. Okay, let it Sheila, how's Paula feeling? Oh, I'm running around. She's okay. She's her her legs are swollen, so you could pray. She's on a medication for that, and it's just it's hard. Don't get old. I know. I know. <laughs> but you know, she but she's hanging in there every day. Good, good. very good. Yeah, appreciate everybody. Prayers. And you're doing a good job. Oh, and there's Kathy. Wow, I got the whole family tonight. Jeez. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> well, I love, you know what? I love all of you and I love my sisters. Oh, okay. Oh, that's there's nice. Claudia. I love you. And there's Claudia. Hi. Hi, Claudia. Hi, Claudia. Oh. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and we got Linda, too. Hello. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Where's Linda? Oh, there she is. There's Linda. Garden and from the outside. <laughs> and Rick is but he's worked all day, so he's laying down and listening to the 
don't know why that one. I see you here. I can see you, Barbara. I can see you too. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Oh. You hear what I said? That Rick here, but laying down, works all day. But he's okay. listening to all of this. That's all right. You you can watch it again. Just when when this goes live, um, I think I we we won't be in the picture, correct, Eric? Eric? Yes, yeah, so off to the side. So you'll, you'll see it off to the side. You will be. Right, but we won't be interacting at all because it's already pre-recorded. Well, um, if people don't mute their phones or their computers, then it'll mute the audio. Okay. So people can hear. I'm I'm going right. to say so. It's important we always mute. Right. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Thank so, you is there any other family members coming? No, that's Please? all I have. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hopefully, it didn't cost you a lot of money. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, this is wonderful. Thank you. Good. <laughs> well, we're glad you came uh, on a Saturday evening at the end of a gorgeous, gorgeous day. And uh, we are here to uh, worship our God and, and to um, celebrate this, the Feast of Pentecost, the night before Pentecost, in a very unique way. I'm not sure if everybody here has experienced a Tazi worship service. But it is very unique, and in in the introduction, you will you will get some more of the specifics about. Well, don't that. turn that off. But it's important that we go on mute, and if everybody could go on mute, the okay. service is forty minutes long, and then when we're done, we're done. Um, you could sit, you can contemplate, you could watch the candle flicker for a while, you can pray, you can sit in the silence. Um, but if we were in the worship um, in the building. We, we would either be sitting there in silence or departing in silence. So uh, we will do the same virtually, okay? And um, I trust that everybody will have a good night's rest and get up early tomorrow and join us at 8.30 or 10.30 for our Pentecost uh, service. Okay, here we go. Welcome to our celebration of the great Feast of Pentecost in prayer and in the manner of Teze. I suggest lighting a candle and find a quiet place without any distractions and allow the Holy Spirit to enter in. The Feast of Pentecost commemorates the beginning of the church with the arrival of the Holy Spirit and with the disciples speaking so that many people heard the gospel in their own language. At Pentecost, we celebrate the Holy Spirit as God's presence within and among us. In Acts, the Spirit arrives in rushing wind and flame, bringing God's presence to all people. The Apostle Paul reminds us that though we each have different gifts and abilities, we are unified in the one Spirit that equips us with these gifts. Jesus breathes the Holy Spirit in his disciples, empowering them to forgive sin. And we celebrate that we too are given the breath of the Holy Spirit and sent out to proclaim God's redeeming love to all the world. So what is Taze? Taze is a type of worship that was developed in Taze, France. Since 1940, Taze has been the home of an ecumenical community of brothers whose lives are centered around praying three times a day. Today, Taze is a place where visitors of all ages, backgrounds, and cultures come on pilgrimages and to participate in prayer and reflection. Their unique style of music and worship bridges denominational and cultural barriers. As people from many countries began to arrive, the texts began to be read in their languages and the songs translated too. 
so that you could come and feel at home in your own language and also be invited to share the language of others there with you. Tonight you will experience flickering candles, periods of silence, and meditative singing. The orange flames of the candle symbolize the Pentecost flames of the Holy Spirit. The candle reminds us that even when the night is dark, whether in our own life or in the life of humanity, Christ's love is a fire that never goes out. After the word is spoken, there will be periods of silence when we are invited to reflect on a word or phrase that touches our heart. It is a time of prayerful communication with God for when we are silent, we are open to the presence of God and to the Holy Spirit. In silence, God's word can reach the hidden corners of our hearts. Sometimes when we try to communicate with God in words, we come up short. At those times, the Holy Spirit prays for us as we focus on God's presence. In our silence, we hope and trust in God. Singing is one of the most essential parts of worship. The repetition of short songs gives our singing a meditative quality, and using just a few words, they express a basic reality of faith. In our meditative singing, we are listening to God and waiting on Him. These songs also allow us to pray deeply, and they can continue in the silence of our hearts when we are at work or resting. They allow us to keep praying even when we are unaware of it. Let us prepare our hearts for worship. See this screen, you need to click on that, uh, the one that's highlighted or the, whatever it is. Okay. Okay, do you, tell me when you see the Pez, Pez a screen. Do you guys see a screen? No. No. Welcome to the celebration of the great feast of Pentecost. No. We just see the, we just see the, um, uh, you know, the list of files. Ah. That's what you're seeing, huh? Yeah. Did you download this uh, file into your computer? Yes, I did. Yeah. Hmm. Well, it's actually my Dropbox. That's probably what the problem is. Okay. Okay, I think this is what I'm gonna do. Trying to do the fly out. Oh. Oh. 
I am looking for the file open in your screen. Yeah. And are you looking at the shared screen um, feature there? And you see the shared screen, uh, you see the um, PowerPoint showing in that. <clears throat> Something. Try it again. Do you want me to try to do it on from my end? I got it. Yeah, I would have to. I would have to send over the video file. It's really, really big. Is it in? Is it in uh, OneDrive? No, no, not the video file. It's not copying over. Okay. All right, folks. Maybe we get it right this time. Uh, 
alcuni pissimi. Okay, you guys see the opening uh, Taze service screen? No. No, we just, I just see the, we just see your listing of the files. Yeah. Okay. I, I see a screen that's got like, you know, words on it. Yeah, it's the files. The file, files, yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> so if I was to share this, um, Well, you have to turn it on in your computer and then you go to share. And then you see a bunch of things in the share screen. And one of them will look like the PowerPoint. And that's what you click on. Yeah, I see it now. Yep. Yes. Oh, yes. Ah, here we go. Okay. May, <laughs> May the 30th. Okay. We're going to, um, I'm going to skip over. You don't want to hear me again. Yes, but are you recording this? Well, I don't think we want to be recording this. Oh, it doesn't want to run. It's nice. Welcome to our celebration of the great feast of Pentecost in prayer and in the manner. All right, we want to get this to. The end. Because we want to hear Joyce play.
divine being, from whom every miracle has come, every artifact and invention of creation, every living thing from your imagination, pour out your spirit upon us, that we may dream dreams, see visions, and speak with prophetic imagination, pour out your spirit upon us, that we may have the gift of faith, rivers of living water, flowing from our hearts. Pour out your spirit upon us, that we may bring your ways here to earth, without the compassion of Christ, and embody your kingdom. Pour out your spirit upon us, that we may speak to all in ways they can understand, of your loving kindness, the great lengths to which you've gone to draw us close. Pour out your spirit upon us, that the world in which we live might be changed, that heaven might be found here, and that hope and life may be realized by all people.
A reading from Acts. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Now they were staying in Jerusalem, God-fearing Jews from every nation under heaven. When they heard this sound, a crowd came together in bewilderment, because each one heard their own language being spoken. Utterly amazed, they asked, Aren't all these who are speaking Galileans? Then how is it that each of us hears them in our native language, Parthians, Medes, and Elamites? residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya near Cyrene, visitors from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, we hear them declaring the wonders of God in our own tongues, the word of the
1 Corinthians. Now there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are varieties of services, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who activates all of them in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. To one is given through the Spirit the utterance of wisdom, and to another the utterance of knowledge according to the same Spirit. To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, gifts of healing by the one Spirit. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, the discernment of spirits. To another, various kinds of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. All these are activated by the one and the same Spirit, who allots to each one individually just as the Spirit chooses. For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. For in the one Spirit we were all baptized into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and we were all made to drink of one Spirit. Greetings. This is a sample greeting to be used as a placeholder. of John. On the last and greatest day of the festival, Jesus stood and said in a loud voice, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. By this he meant the Spirit, whom those who believed in him were later to receive. Up to that time the Spirit had not been given since Jesus had not yet been glorified.
Holy Spirit, from heaven shine forth with your radiant love. Come, Father of the poor, come, generous Spirit, come, light of our hearts. Perfect Comforter, you make peace to dwell in our soul. Come, Holy Spirit. Wonderful refreshment, in our labor you offer rest, in our trials strength. Come, Holy Spirit. Kindly light, enter the inmost depth of our hearts. Come, Holy Spirit. Bend our rigidity, inflame our apathy. Come, Holy Spirit. Send rain upon our dry ground, heal our wounded souls. Come, Holy Spirit. Give us lasting joy. Come, Holy Spirit, from heaven shine forth with your radiant love. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from a time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Holy Spirit, Spirit of the living God, you breathe in us on all that is inadequate and fragile. You make living waters spring even from our hurts themselves. And through you, the valley of tears becomes a place of well springs. So, in an inner life with neither beginning nor end, your continued presence makes new freshness break through. Amen. May the one who brought forth Jesus from the dead raise you to new life, fill you with hope, and turn your mourning into dancing. And may Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you now and forever. Amen.